Oh, great. So the Imperials are, well, I assume they, they, of course the Imperials will be here, but yeah, something tells me this is not going to be easy. All right, all right, that's a big puppy. Oh God, they're bringing the attack dogs on already, guys. Jesus. So hopefully my tank is cool and listens to my warning that, yeah, I'm not at max eye level, don't go crazy with the pulse. Because you, you can literally pull like three separate pulls here and a lot of things do shit tons of damage and I collectively refer to that as the suicide pull. Oh great, oh great, oh great, oh great. Doggy on me. Okay. Crisis averted. Is these stupid goddamn archers with their stupid dots hurt a lot. And they're a pain in the ass to deal with as a white mage because you have no in battle shields that affect the whole party to prevent the dot damage from even going on in the first place. And it makes it a pain in the ass to deal with. I hate this place because of it. Play a giant bulldogs. Not know why we've never seen them before, but I don't know. Maybe that is maybe 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 guys didn't just like to train them or something. I don't know. Maybe he's more of a cat person. Who knows? But yeah, they'll they'll, they'll pull that first group. They'll pull this one, and they'll pull what's going up ahead. And with multiple archers, plus that skyship armor, plus these doggies that hurt. Yeah, yeah. I, I collectively refer to it as a suicide pull. Because any, almost any tank is probably going to die on it. <laughs> Unless he knows everything about how to handle his cooldowns. Trust me, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah you can only heal so much per second, guys. J just a heads up and a warning gonna do the suicide pull you better be damn sure you're ready to pop your immunity at any second cuz you probably gonna have to what do you mean savages don't give me that shit perhaps you are not familiar with my face I am the warrior of light I am the icon slayer extraordinaire perhaps you have heard of me maybe no Okay, fine. Fine then. All right. I guess I'll just have to kick your butts into submission and prove my good name. Yeah, I'm sure you guys have probably noticed the Praetorium may or may not still be in shambles. Did they ever repair that? But yes, that was partially, at least, my doing. Okay, we can blame Manassian and Ancient Magus on that too, but... They probably wouldn't have done that had it not broken into the place in the first place. So, yeah. So I'm taking credit for that. Place went up in flames, everything. Explosions in the nearby tunnel, and yeah. Probably almost everyone who was left in there died, or at least came close to it. No, still not familiar with me? Okay, all right. Well, I suppose I can't blame me because I looked a little bit different back then, but. You would think I would carry a name tag or a business card of some type. That would be really awesome for like the astrologians that instead of like the, the the actual cards, one of them was a business card that they just chucked around to people. That would be hilarious. Somebody draw me a comic of that. So this is pretty much like old cast gems. Kill some Imperials, they drop a key. You would think they would instill password systems, but obviously they would have to make sure not to like write their passwords on their hands like Sludge Hall or anything like that. But I digress. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. 
I am not fond of the music in this dungeon. At all. And the reason is, it is way too, too cheery and upbeat for what is going down here. Because this is a pretty urgent situation. We have a bunch of Alamegans running around in Grand Company uniforms. Trying to bait the Imperials. And pretty much having the Alliance and the, the Empire pretty much mutually declare war on each other as, as the end result. Okay, this, this is kind of serious business here, guys. And yet the music is more cheery. Like, like almost like we're going on, a, on an adventure to just like break into this place for random supplies or, or this is some kind of training exercise or, or something. And it just completely breaks the atmosphere for me. And, and I'm not entirely a person that, oh, you know, the music has to entirely fit the situation because they, they, they reuse tracks and not every music piece is going to fit exactly. But here I think they missed the mark way, way too much. Guy, guys, kill you. Oh my god. You must just die there. Hooray! First bossy down. Awesome. Ooh, that's actually an improvement for me. I will totally take that. For once, a dungeon is throwing me a bone. I like that. Maybe this place is some mild redeeming factor after all. Now, I will say, though, that. No, I want to open my inventory. Controller. I do like this room. We are totally casting limb right in the middle of battle here. Must remain pretty looking at all times. So we got plenty of time to do that. So I do like here how you just stay on this moving platform and everything else just comes to you. I kind of like that. Now why this platform moves into several bunch of tons of different directions and we can't control it directly to get where we want to go, I don't have an answer for that. Now, not that we actually have any idea what direction we need to go in. Uh, I will entirely grant it that. But we don't have any sort of full control over this. So, I'm guessing this must be either a system override, or this thing is pre-programmed to go in different directions. This is probably how they get supplies in and around. You know, between like the maintenance or, and or creation forge. Like over to where other areas of the castrum or where it's needed, or the for next part of the assembly line, something, anything. That's what I'm just guessing. I mean, because it, it is pretty huge, so. Like plenty of places to, to stock up on supplies, get them from one place to another. Efficiency is important. Good central area from which to move things around in. Give the Empire credit for that. Not sure what kind of ceiling they dropped these Colossus from, but... Eh, I guess we can forgive. They have to have something here trying to kill us, so... Although it would be just really funny if they if they do have like rafters up in the ceiling, particularly like just at random parts in the castrum, just in case an infiltration happens, where it's just, they're just prepared to just drop down at any time, and because they're because they're 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 just so high up, I'm guessing they probably have shock absorbers somehow so they don't partially break apart when they land. But who thinks to look up at the ceiling? You know, when you're like looking around for, for potential threats and targets when you're trying to infiltrate a place, almost nobody looks up. So it would be kind of just perfect that they're just hanging out in the rafters, just, just ready to drop down on any potential threat that comes in and protect that place. You know what? We're making that headcanon now. We are totally making that headcanon that they are smart enough to stick shit in the ceiling onto unsuspecting infiltrators. We're going with that, guys. Totally going with that. I'm completely talking about my ass right now, but I like that. So much fun to just 
I, I don't know how I do it sometimes. Like sometimes I'm so stressed for things to think about, and then when I actually have an opportunity to just to just, to just spew some verbal diarrhea, I actually just come up with these random ideas. Some of which work, some of which entire which don't exactly fit, but. It's just fun thinking of just the, the these whack job theories to, to fill in little gaps. Like, I know you're supposed to leave some things up, but to the imagination, not everything needs an explanation, but sometimes it's it's just fun and amusing to, to fill in those gaps. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I wonder what kind of mechanism they have underneath this thing that it can just move so freely, freely back and forth and then dock onto the other conveyor belts and such. Kudos to Magitech right here and there. Maybe we should find some blueprints here or there and maybe let me maybe get this back to, to, to Sid, Biggs, and Wedge. I mean, it's possible they already know. I mean, they, they, they were part of the Imperial Network at one time before they defected. But it would depend on how quote unquote new this technology is. Because they've been certainly keeping Belzar's wall pretty up in good shape, despite the fact that, you know, guys Van Belzar is presumably not among the living anymore, and at the very least he's no longer the commander around here, so. Who has taken over command of the 14th anyway? So obviously they're here. Still, or somebody's here. I haven't, I haven't thought about that till now. That's something to think about. So yeah, let's take a dire might, just slap some Imperial armor on it and call it a new boss. Kinda almost resembles a Godwalker in a way too. So I can actually give some credit where credit is due for uh, lazy reuse of skeleton, but actually making it work. I will completely give some credit for that. All right, let's see if somebody moves. Oh my God, nobody did. Somebody usually always does a dumb and moves there and then takes a giant smack to the face. Of course, you can't fight in Magitech armor without tiny bits and pew 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 lasers. Can't have that. I almost kind of love how that move, uh, that combo barely gives you enough time to get out of there. Just shows who's actually paying attention and who's actually reacting. But at the same time, people who might be minorly lagging or with high ping uh, might find themselves a little bit caught up in that. That, and I use, crap, did I use the size already? No, I didn't, all right. No, it would have been just hilarious if I just like fired a grenade up that thing's butthole. That would have certainly made short work of it. Too bad we didn't think to bring any grenades. I don't think the scions keep those in steady supply. Alright, well, now we see where all the fires sprung from. Okay. Dude, are you guys not hooked up on your own little intercom system? We breached the gates a while ago. Okay, we, we kind of went up the elevator already here. Kicked two of your giant things. And 
I have to say, I hate these stupid mech tech gunships. Give me nightmares of that stupid annoying one in Keeper of the Lake. I hated that thing. So, you know, whatever happened to the Magic Deck Reaper we have, I, I miss Maggie. Well, technically, technically, canonically, we, we, we technically brought her to the, the makeshift workshop in Mordona and got her outfitted with guns for aesthetics. But I would like to see a return to Maggie in the main story. Be a little kind of late for it now, but it, it would be nice if she actually got a mention. Like, sh she did get a brief mention way in Azizla when we met Gilly. The, the information node thingy. Biggs did briefly mention her there, but other than that, I want to see a return of our, our little Magitek armor. I mean, she's got a mammoth heart worth a fucking fortune that we got for free inside of her. I think, I think we might as well get our quote-unquote money's worth out of her. Sort of. Maybe. Kind of. I don't know. It's not something I'm gonna lose sleep over, but it's just it's just a little flashback to the past that would that would be a little bit nice. And it would be something to help segue into now this return of the Empire, because we've gotten most of this most of this entire expansion without directly dealing with the Imperials. We we did deal with them briefly in Azus Law, where the Sixth Legion is kind of stuck because she would just kinda of murder the shit out of their ship. And we did have a brief stint with uh, Emperor Varus himself, but other than that, the Empire has pretty well stayed out of this expansion. Yeah, we know they have a new flagship, which is the one there. Whoops. Kind of got a giant dent in the hole. Thank you, Shiva. As a result, but there haven't been like any assaults or, or anything of the like in this expansion. They, they've just kind of stayed just, just mum this entire time. And obviously now, with this assault on the wall that is probably going to lead to all-out war or at least escalate into some kind of larger conflict. Having a, just a little little bit of a, a flashback or some kind of callbacks to our, our dealings with them in, in the past, even if in outside world time it's been quite a long time. Just, just to kind of bring us up to speed, recap things just a little bit or something. Something. Again, not something really worth losing sleep over, but just something I think would, would be nice and, and help just kind of segue into the new expansion. Hello, Mr. Griffin. Are you real Griffin or are you fake Griffin? Oh, you son of a fucking bitch! Really, game? Really? Okay, a lot of people actually completely called this, and yes, it did make sense that it would be Ilbert. But at the same time, when this patch came out, I was actually hoping it wasn't him because it was almost too obvious. So I was hoping that they, they, they were kind of leading you into, into a false sense of, ah, ha, huh, I know who it is, and then just completely throwing you for a loop or having another false griffin, perhaps. And that the idea of the griffin was perhaps just a moniker for an ideal shared among a few men and that none of them was the actual real griffin. Or that the real griffin was unseen by all of them. Like he had like just a bunch of doppelgangers hanging around to do his bidding. I think I think I would have liked that better. It was kind of just, I mean obviously it, it was foreseeable so it's not, it didn't come as a total surprise or anything. But like the the issue with Midgard Somar be, uh, becoming our our mount that we had a little minion for, not a minion, um, statue of in the collector's edition. It, it was just a little bit too obvious, and it left me kind of disappointed in wanting more. Like I wanted a bit more of a plot twist involved, just a little. It does not make things so completely obvious. But, at the very least, it gives me a chance to kick the shit out of this guy. It's been a while. 
How would you like this? I've been waiting to kick your ass, Hilbert. Just waiting. You think I forgot about you? You think I don't want to kill you and your crony y Yuhasa either? Yeah, he's next on my list. You first, though. Chopping off Raban's arm and shit. Taking over the crystal braves. You know, I can also still see this fucking terrible about that. I would like to see him just kick you square in the fucking nuts. He's too polite to do that, but I would still really love for that to happen. else to say for yourself, sir. Now you don't have me now. Bitch in the war of fucking life. If you haven't killed me by now, there was no way you're going to. Okay? Just shut your damn trap. I don't know what you're playing out up here with your shit, but I ain't having any of it. Oh, come on. I was not facing him. What kind of crap is this game? No. Take Clark's stance off first. Thank you. Word to the wise guys, you let the healer stay in that thing too long and they will die. Sloppy. It's not a matter of them running out of HP, you have a set amount of time, else you die. Yeah. And it really kind of sucks. I'll tear you limb from limb. So what do you have to say for your now yourself now, Mr. Griffin? I love it when a dungeon goes smooth. Mr. Tank, you listened well. You get my commendation. Aww, we feel a little butt hurt. You've beaten me, I. But you cannot stop what I've begun. Behold! A glimpse of things to come! Can I just go over there and just behead him, like, right now? Yeah, give him a couple hours to summon reinforcements and you'll Aye. all be dead. Victory is ours! Yeah, you're welcome for cutting through half of them, you dipshits. And who knows, lads? Mayhap the Eorzeans will finally see sense when the enemy turns up on their bloody doorstep. Fuck you guys! This is for Alamigo, for Eorzea. You know, I gave your ass a chance. After you threw me to the wolves once. And now you betrayed me twice. Alright? Fuck you too. They die that others may live. And especially fuck that other guy too.
Vanguards, attack! Seven Hells, do you hear that? Well, you've all been had. War machines. How did they get here so quickly? Because it's the fucking Empire. Not that the Empire is the one responsible, but not that they know that. Stand your ground for the resistance. Okay, I feel no sympathy for you guys because you should have fucking seen this coming. Oh yeah, let's totally go the Empire into, uh... And the Alliance to actually spur into action, but let's totally not expect anything to actually happen while we're here. Nope, nope, it's not- nothing's gonna escalate until after we leave this place. You guys are dumb. There's nowhere to run! We're cut off! Okay, this is a little overkill now. God help us. What were we thinking? The Empire's too big. Too powerful. Okay, you're allowed to live because you have some sense and knocked into you. Not likely to happen, but but Godspeed, my friend. I'm glad somebody grew green. <gasps> Mighty Rogue. Grant us the strength to cross. Oh. Okay, and you just can go straight back to hell now. Sorry I had any sympathy for ya. There you are. As you can see, our infiltrators did not elude me for long. Lady Ugiri is sending for an airship even as we speak. Um, where's Thancred? What do we do? This is a massacre! We get the fuck out of here. <laughs> How wonderful to see you, Commander. Can I please just kick him in the balls? Ill bird. I should have known. Please, kick him in the balls. This has to end. It has to end now. Do you not see your countrymen dying? Have your ideals rendered you blind even to that? Order the retreat, and we will help your soldiers to safety. Um, yeah. Hi. Remember last meeting? Nothing he won't do to free El Migo? Nothing? Yeah. He wasn't fucking joking. Okay, he's entirely off his rocker, entirely without reason. Okay? You're not gonna talk him down. It's already escalated this far. Retreat. With the moment of my triumph so close at hand, you truly are a sheltered child, Leverier. Fuck you! Okay? I don't need to repeat, like, the thousand things I've done in this expansion. Okay? Told the Guardian Emperor to fuck off. Kinda killed Nidhogg. Yeah, he was- he was kinda there for all that. Alright? His balls are bigger than yours, you fucker. Nidhogg's eyes! No abyss is too deep for you, I see. But trust me when I say that such power was not meant for mortal hands. Yeah, don't just say trust me. Just, like, describe every inch of pain you are in trying to tear those How damn things off. How long have I struggled to reach this point? My countrymen, so inured to the taste of defeat, they no longer balk at its bitterness, shouting my throat raw with rallying cries, only to be greeted with dull eyes and blank faces. Somebody shoot him. Kick his ass something. My brothers and sisters in Ulda have surrendered to their apathy and their appetites. Were it not for the glint of Lodorito's coin, I doubt even those here now would have answered my call. Can, can, can we somehow remove those eyes from his hands, please? 
Take back our homeland. Free Alamigo. Ha! They'll happily mouth the words, but they won't spill the blood. Okay, talking should not be a free action here. Somebody do something. You say no mortal should wield these eyes. Then I shall gladly become a demon. I will suckle on the souls of the hopeless and liberate the homeland they no longer deserve. What exactly do you mean to do? Don't sit around long enough to find out. Do something. Did you hear their cries as victory was snatched away from them? Even with their dying breaths, they cursed the Empire. Never has their desire for vengeance been so raw, so true. A god has no need of faith when summoned by so pure a purpose. Summoned? You cannot mean to fight the Empire with a primal! You know full well the danger, the futility of relying on such power! Why are we sitting around talking? Guys, fucking do something! Oh yes, I know their limitations. Which is why I will call upon a deity more terrible than the very black worm of the Calamity itself! Okay, Thanker, now would be the really good time for a dramatic entrance from you. Tick-tock. What? Here? Now? Yes, you imbeciles! Do something! Like hell's you will! Oh, thank God! Ida, thank you! Okay, I'm calling hacks. Alpha no, uh, Carbuncle. She was face off. An ending to mark a new beginning. My pain, my longing, you shall have it all! <laughs> Man, I hope your brains are splattered to every corner of that ground down there. Well, I'm not gonna miss you. You heard it, folks. That was quite the audible splat. Okay, it should really smell like burning flesh right about now. Okay, his skull should be crushed by that impact. Come on! Okay, that'd be kind of gruesome to see, but they wouldn't have to actually show his face. They can do a clever cutaway there. Yeah, you guys? I- I- I'm- I'm- I know we have an airship on the way, but... I- I think... I'll this say, light. Is it but for the rest of you, I think you need to initiate plan. Get the fuck out of here. His death completed the ritual. The primal is taking shape. Well, can't we stop it? There must be something we can do. There is one thing. What? Hey! Where do you think you're going? Master Louis Soir briefly contained Bahamut by means of a potent spell of sealing. I will now attempt to do the same. Uh, yeah, that didn't work though. B but that's impossible! We would need hours to collect the necessary ether, if not days! Ah, uh, Alphino, though I concede it may not always be apparent, I was ever your grandsire's finest pupil. Tumtumati, of course! The staff still holds enormous power, broken or not. Don't you dare, Pabalimo! I know how that spell works. You do?
Oh, there you are, Thanker. Did they really need the two of you to go get this airship? It is time to leave. I really could have just used you. Quite right. Quickly now, off you go. The further away, the better. No. If you're staying, then so am I. No, Ida. There is a path only you can walk, and it must not end here. Not like this. Take her! Please, you have to take her! Oh, thank her knows that look. <clears throat> No! Damn it, Thancred! Put me down! Thancred! This is one battle you cannot fight. Away with you! Go! But, but I'm the Warrior of Light! Now, I'm staying put with you, man. You can't make me go. Ow! Hilda! I think he means now! Okay, that was a bit unnecessary. You're my friend. I've missed you. I may be mad at you for not telling me, but I still missed you. I'm quite surprised Edith is not jumping off the edge. I bid thee farewell again, my dear Ida. Now, let us see how good a student I truly was. Um, I, I guess it worked. I don't see any breaking out. Yeah, neither can I. Neither can I. And yet you nearly cry like a damn baby when Minfilia did something similar. Ida needs a hug right about now. It's all right, Ida. He blasted my ass, too. I know. I, I know how you feel, honey. Alright, I, I, I know you're trying to soften the blow a bit, Thancred, but th this is not what she needs to hear right now. I wouldn't say powerless, as we were all being mind-blowingly stupid and just standing there. A 
Okay, the only thing I'm gonna blame you for is waiting on the the, the, the airship with Tilda and not staying with the group. But even then, I'm I'm hardly putting entire blame on you because any one of us could have fucking done something. Hankard, stop trying to be the quote unquote adult here and shoulder the blame for anybody. I'm sick of you being the mope. Alright, enough of that like the episode. Next time, we're gonna give Ida a big fat hug and think of how the hell we're gonna explain this to the others. So thank you for watching friends. I will see you later.